The Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and lots of psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up? Creepers and Kickers Chris, the Atari Creep. How is everyone doing today? Guys, let's have a look at this basic fun arcade classic numero 80 joust mini arcade cabinet graciously given to me by our good friend willie of arcade usa having a quick look at the packaging because we don't really care about that a little description of what we need to be doing go ahead and pause and read that if needed little barcodes and everything great packaging i don't know why walmart gets the exclusive on the uh the, not only the sexy packaging but the machines are much different as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's kind of like Sears with Atari and the whole telegames thing. Because, let's be honest. The, the, the telegames versions of the Atari and, of course, the Intellivision were much sexier than the first party shit. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to slice, as our friend Willie would say. Come on. Why isn't it coming out? Is there a... Is there a hindrance on the bottom? All right, there we go. So inside the box, we have our typical manual. Um, just tells you the basic stuff. Hey, here's how to play the game. You do the battery stuff like this and don't do things that are gonna hurt you. And we hear, oh, I hate these things with a passion, but it looks like we gotta play around with them. Alright, so after uh, 43 tabs, 16 yards of sellotape, and having to rent heavy equipment to get it out, here it is outside of the package. And you know what, if there's one thing I could say about these, they're fun. They're just a fun object to have, whether you want to play it, whether you want to just display it, whether you just want to have a whole bunch of these on to, you know, disturb your family, but to give you the, the feeling of the arcade experience. These are just overall just fun units and it's my understanding that Defender is tapped on this board as well um, I don't know if it's some of them or if it's all of them but I know Willie the rad gentleman who gave me this unit uh, has tapped into a couple of them he did one with the switch on the side he also did a really neat one with a mercury switch so if you turned it on like this you got joust and if you flipped it upside down um, he got Defender, and he even had custom stickers made by RK, the guy who made the uh, little model kit that we just recently did, the um, Moon Patrol model kit. But regardless, I'm getting off track here as I usually do. Let's pull this tab out so it's not in demo mode anymore. Let's fire it up, and I'm going to attempt to play this. I'm holding it. I gotta look through a viewfinder, um, and I'm feeling this joystick already, and it's very definite, left, right, up, and down. There's no in-between. It's in a crosshair. So, um, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do it like this. But I will, I'll give it a go. Let me, you know, let me put it down on the table so it has some kind of stability here. And we'll zoom in on the screen and hopefully, and hopefully we'll get some gameplay. But it's Joust. I mean, you should know Joust by now. There you go. You smash onto the dudes. Get up there, dude. And then you go collect their eggs. You steal their eggs so you can make an omelet. Oh no, I ran under that dude too far. Too far, too fast. There we go. Let's kill this guy. Steal his eggs. So yeah, that's Joust. But yeah, um, there you go. You know what, just for fun, I'm curious. I, I know this is brand new in the package. I don't think he sent me a modded one. Nah, I didn't think he would have. But that's okay. So guys, overall, there's my look at the, what is it, basic fun? Is that what they're called, basic fun? Let me look at the packaging here. Basic fun, a division of Bridge Direct. I don't know what the hell that is. I don't wanna know, that sounds scary, but either way. So I look at the basic fun, arcade classics number eight, Joust slash Defender. We will tap into this probably eventually sometime yeah i just I, you know i turned upside down willie did a couple of mods and he put a mercury switch in one of these i'd be terrified to search mercury switches online these days 
with all the bombings and stabbings and terrorist crap. Because they use them in bombs, if you don't know. Mercury switches, you pick up the package and boom, whatever. Oh, okay, Sarah, Sarah. But you know what? Again, fun. That's the name of the game here. And I was actually quite surprised by how well it played and how well I could see it. So maybe Willie has changed my mind on these and we'll start getting a few more um, to find some way to put them. Uh, I know there are some that are better than others. But I'm, I, I'm having a good experience with this one. Guys, let me know what you think down below. Do you have this one? Uh, what's your experience with it? Or do you just have it for the shelf? Uh, that's what I mainly thought that this would be. Uh, but I, I, I think I'm going to let the kids try it out later on today too. See what they think. Um, but I think this is something I could actually just, you know, when I'm bored, a little something to do here and there. Uh, but I don't know. Go ahead and leave your feedback. Thumbs up thumbs down all feedback to the creep is positive willie thank you so much dude i'm having so much fun with these things i got a couple more things from him plus i have some christmas stuff i still have to review so we're going to be doing a lot of item reviews versus video gameplay um here in the very near future and i hope you're excited to, and looking forward to that so guys thank you always so much for watching i can't i can't thank you enough uh i really do appreciate it until next time take care creep it real and bye-bye. Spare fingers.